three, two, one, start.
well, 
I hate audio. I hate audio so much. I, if, I, if I had a choice of not having the microphone and just using the face cam, I totally would. But. Somebody would stay around that way. You can just find out if, if the noise is how the noise is. Because I don't want whoever watches this uh, the stream to just have like music blaring in their speaker. 27 stage. Sucks is that I really don't have an environment to test the sound. Like it's, it's either stream and look like an idiot trying to figure out your audio levels, or It's game over, right? No nope, more life. Still in it. We are totally still in it. It's just 15 minutes. The I think the record is like an hour or two or something. So we got a lot of way to go. We got a long way to go to be honest. Please give me something good. That's wonderful. I'll, I'll gladly take that. That's gonna help a lot. Play it safe. Shit! We have a boss plane. <sighs> what 
we survived that. <laughs> oh, bullet hell. Bullet hell. So I don't know if it, I could probably save a lot of time if I just shot straight to the, uh, the ship whenever, um, whenever we complete a level, but, hindsight, right? This is gonna be my first, you know, long, long play slash speed run, so, maybe I'll learn a few things. Fix some trade, whatnot. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to spam the microphone to sound my clicks, but... That was close. It was really close. Twenty minutes. Ah, oh, damn it, did I just die? Is that it? Give me white. Green. Alright, fine. Why is it picking up the power up when I'm not? It feels like I'm not even there. Is it whenever the screen advances to a certain part? Or...
we were almost done with the level, too. Alright. 2247 right now. Whew! We're gonna beat this game. Beating it's not the hard part. The hard part is avoiding dying so many times. That is the hard part. so well I don't know how I didn't die that time but okay a red that's just a loop to loop I think I was about that because I okay so I've never successfully used a loop to loop or an inverted loop power up because every time I do it I just end up crashing into the plane anyway Uh, this is 1942. So the arcade game 1942 released in 1985 on the arcade uh, by Capcom. Um, 1986 on Famicom, 1987 on the NES. I'm playing the NES version of right now. Uh, the medium that I'm playing it on is the Retron 5, which is an awesome piece of equipment to have because it outputs HDMI. You can't afford a uh, Frame Meister or any of those more expensive thingamajigs, the Hyperkin Retron 5 is the way to go! Shit! NES. So. The arcade version is a lot prettier, it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I'd rather play it, honestly. But I don't have a USB controller, and it's a, a great disservice to yourself to try to play it on a keyboard, because it's just, it doesn't pan out right. But this is so hard to see. Oh, a Trojan ad. Wonderful. Exactly what I need to be recording in this run. A Trojan connection. This run is not sponsored by any condom, but I have three kids in the possession. Is the music a lot? Oh shit, I almost died right there. Is the music a lot less louder, son? Oh, nice, a white power up. I love this one because of that. Which one is loud? Is it the music or is it the actual game? Because the music in the game is a beep and a snare. That's all you hear. You probably hear me shooting. But is the music? Because I can just cut the music down. I mean, for me, it's just so I don't get bored. So I can't. You know. Still trying to fix the shooting. Okay. I 
can I can mess with that after I beat the level. Get out of here. Fuck. See if that changes anything for you. Is that better? I just went ahead and killed the audio for the game altogether because it's crap audio anyway. If this game had actual good music, I'd, I'd worry about the audio levels, but no, nah, it's bad. The sound is completely gone. What sound? The game sound? Because I totally, I killed it. Like I straight up annihilated the, uh, the video capture device. Oh, you know what? Shit. So, I know what's going on. I know what's wrong. So, I turned up the internal volume of this thing so that I could hear it at work on my TV monitor. Because we were doing holiday shifts in the military, and I definitely brought my, my retro on to work. And I turned up the volume all the way, so it's probably like 200% whenever it's like at 50%. Just levels easy. I mean, I can, I can try with it, but I'd have to experiment in between every round. Maybe set it to like negative 30 and see if that does anything. Mm -hmm. Bonus points, anybody you can name with this, this game, or this song's from. All right, so I got set to negative 60 now. How's it sound? Should be less than what my microphone is outputting. Yeah, I can see how that'd be like super overbearing. Thank you for helping me call that out. I genuinely appreciate that. That's without people saying it, I wouldn't know. So, so you're the MVP for this episode. should be a lot better now but to where you can somewhat still hear it I don't have it monitoring because if I had it monitoring through uh, through Elgato I'd get like an, a weird reverbious echo and nobody wants to hear that especially because the game music sucks and the sound sucks too well thank you I put, I went to Google and I looked up TV, transparent screen, changed the uh, copyright to where I could actually use the copyrighted image, and it just happened to work out. So I was like, hey, let's try it out. 
I was afraid that like it would like take away from the game and I almost considered just uh, letting it chill you know like just putting the uh, the capture right up there as opposed to putting it inside of an overlay container like that but I kinda like it. it's growing on me I'm glad that uh glad that you think it looks cool too we're gonna beat this game we're so gonna beat this game alright so we are at 33 something 33 and some change right now yeah isn't it though so I mean I don't know if technically the the retron is an emulator or if it would be considered just because I mean I am playing on the physical cart right now but I guess it is technical emulation because it's not using the true hardware of the uh, of the NES but my NES is a ticking time bomb even if I got it like an upscaler I wouldn't have any faith in my NES the uh, the capture card ultimately is what's dictating the sound so But I try to avoid emulators if all possible, but I found a website that I wanted to uh, check out and it was Retro Retro Achievements. And unfortunately, they use an emulator called like FCEUX or so something along those lines. RANS is the actual file name. And um, it's really hard to get the aspect ratio right on it, at least with this, you know, and make it work somewhat. But I cannot get it to read the ROMs to save my life, and it's exceptionally frustrating. Last week there was a retro streamer because he ruined his sound card. He ruined his sound card? Jesus Christ, what was he playing? Did he, like, blow it because the, uh, the sound came out too strong? Because I actually did that once uh, I was working in Audition. So, um... Uh, I have YouTube videos, right? And I, I use Adobe Audition as my audio editing software because it's easy to use. And uh, I set the, the gain. I went the wrong direction one time. And instead of uh, typing negative 17, which is my sweet spot for audio, I actually typed 170. So I got this peak clip that just wrecked my entire computer and made it shut down all the audio drivers. I don't know if it's just like a, a safety feature or if that's actually a thing, but that's actually funny. Same old stuff like Donkey Kong, Mario Bros, etc. Yeah. I'm actually really mad. My Retron will not run Super Mario All-Stars, which is a shame because, you know, I, I don't want to pay 300 some odd dollars for a Frame Meister, which is what everybody's using to upscale their HD anyway. All right, give me that. Give me, is it white? Yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. I thought they were going to screw me over and take one of my lives, but whatever. One of the biggest things that I hate about this game is that you are not able to use this configuration. I died anyway. Use this configuration on um, on boss levels, which is kind of annoying. Your, your wingman will fly away and leave you to it, because that's totally how war works. Are you into retro games? Oh, please give me that power back. That'd be dope. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Oh, not a good time. Not a good time. Not a good time. like that he just leaves maybe I'm gonna buy some old Atari 2600 and begin in the 80s well technically you're starting in the late 70s if you're using Atari but props to you man that that takes a setup that I just I don't have the time nor energy to to contend with are you do you know how to put it on a, a regular TV because if you don't have the regular TV all you have to do is get one of those uh it's a female to male converter boxes or the uh not converter box uh, female to male coax adapter. You can get them from Radio Shack, and they're super easy. 
So as long as you have the original power cable, you can plug right on in. Uh, use that. Use a coax. It's a step-up transformer. Kind of like what the Magnavox Odysseys would have used. Um, if you have something with the devil forks that used to get screwed in the back of like an old TV, so the UHF antenna, you can have what's called a step-up transformer that you screw the two devil prongs into, and it has a male output, and um, yeah, work from there. I can't. I have no dexterity right now because of how crampy my fingers are. Yeah, some old 60-inch TV from the 90s. Damn, that was you must have been living large. I wish I had a 90 in, uh 60 inch in the 90s. I had one of those old like it was the kind of TVs that your mom and dad put like on the kitchen refrigerator top because nobody wanted it in their bedroom because it was so small. That was my first TV, but it had a VCR built in, which was dope. TV, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Tony, that's the hookup. And then uh, my second TV was a flat screen. I, man, it, it broke my heart with my TV because I had gotten that TV in the 90s. I was playing Nintendo 64 on it in the 2000s. It was the only TV I ever had, and it like finally died whenever I was in high school. And I was like, well, I guess it's time to upgrade to a to a flat screen LCD of some sort. So that was my Christmas present one year. And uh, by then I was already playing like PS3 and stuff, so HDMI or PS2 and HDMI wasn't a thing, so it was all AV and RGB cables. I remember playing Wii on it, and it sucked because it was one of those early like thin insignia TVs that wouldn't you couldn't put the uh, the Wii monitor on top of, unlike your old TVs where you could just you know stack it on top because it was thick on top. But uh, it was an act of Congress just to get it to stay balanced on the top of a uh, top of my TV. <laughs> Sixteen. Oh my gosh, we're doing so well, guys. Kind of wish I wouldn't have died. I don't know how many times it continued. I think it continued like twice, but uh. Well, that was stupid. Oh hey. Green. I could use that power up. Give me. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about this TV overlay is that it's hard to gauge like what's going on in the game because I don't think I have the complete screen in the box. And uh, on my left monitor, I actually have the Elgato output going into my my secondary monitor. That way, I can see it full screen. What did you say? Got got still of that old 8-bit Nintendo with the big modules. It's cool, man. Uh, I got mine from eBay for like 40 bucks. So. I never expected it to work to begin with. I did disable the the 10S chip, which is the regional lockout chip that causes the red blinking light, especially in older models that weren't taken care of. But I am not a big fan of the NES as a as a console in terms of like hardware. The whole push down that was a horrible design. They should have never done that. They got it right with the top loader. And we have a frame drop. There's so much shit going on screen right now. And we lost that guy. We're probably about to die. Usually whenever uh, the frame goes, it's just impossible to maintain. But we'll deal. If you pay attention, you'll hear another ad from Insidious 4. And I haven't seen a single one of those movies. The most terrifying Insidious. made it yeah I mean I got shit. my dad got rid of his nest and he can kick himself in the back for how many times he's like 
he said, I wish I would have kept it. I wish I would have saved the boxes for the games. He pawned it. Like, he pawned his uh, NES and his Genesis off at some point during the late 90s. And my grandparents had a um, Intellivision for my mom. And Intellivision was obviously an 80s console. But uh, my grandmother was like, oh, you can just find a replacement. I'm sure people are selling them on eBay. And I go on eBay, and they're like $800 to have. And each of the games costs almost just as much, depending on where you're, what you're looking for. really want to read the chat but I got a lot a lot of stuff going on right now so if I if, if I get a break I'll glance over there real quick because I know that something popped up I hate this shit so much frame rate drop okay oh my blood pressure is through the roof I, that's what I should do I should get a heart monitor and have it like as a window capture on my OBS. So y'all can see my uh, my pulse rate whenever I'm playing these old games. Boop, boop, doo, doo, doo. Yeah, we're in our groove right now. We'll be fine. We're going to sail on to the end of the game. But on the other hand, there are so many websites you can play this old stuff. Found this 1942 already. Yeah. Yeah, you can get ROMs pretty much anywhere. Uh, if, if you're curious, the best website, the one I check out, is Emu Paradise. Spelled E-M-U-P-A-R-I-D-I-S-E. So whatever. Pretty much Emu and Paradise. They have everything. They have really good uh, emulators. They have great music files. They have full-length soundtracks. You know, it's, it's pretty much a go-to for everything emulation. The problem is, is that some ROMs don't work as well. But I think I have like a 99% success rate. Oh, we got invisible art. Invisible art. Oh, I can't see. They're disappearing. The NES is making it disappear. I would have loved to have had that third guy. Thank you, NES. Appreciate it. Man, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm screwed. We'll survive. It's just trash because I can't see. It's... It's so hard to see. The contrast is just not there. Things just bleed in together. It's either kill everything or just die. <sighs> Hopefully it starts me before the orange. That'd be really nice. So I could get my uh, get my thing back, but it does not look like that's gonna happen. So we're gonna have to contend with it. I hate the artwork in the game. This there's See, as long as we're on top of blue, I'm fine because I can see what's going on until I do that. This that's my fault. That was my fault. 14 stage. I'd really like to make it to the final 10 before uh, the hour mark, but it's probably not going to happen. We were like almost at the end of this level too. Why is it spraying out so many damn bullets? It doesn't make any sense. That was invisible artwork too. This game 
pisses me off. Just dodge it all. Just dodge it all. Just dodge it all. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. We will beat this game. We will beat this game. I'm hoping in like an hour 20. That'd be cool. I want to set a record for myself. I am so shocked I fucking survived that. Jesus. Oh. 48-19. One life or two life left. Two lives left. Three in the morning. I am playing 1942 on the NES. This is what life, life's all about, guys. This is what life's all about. So if I remember right on the rules for this, the um, the challenge ends as soon as the stats show up um, after we land. So, but I don't know if it's the stats from um, like the level or if it's the stats from like the game being over, because I know that there is some considerable time. I might look into that real quick because we're we're approaching. What link did you type? You just say the name of the website and I'll check it out later. Because I have it to where links aren't allowed. Cause I got Nightbot. That's gonna ruin the party for everybody. Some retro site? Yeah, Emu Paradise is my go-to. It's my ride or die. So timer stops when stats appear on the screen as you're playing against the land on the ship at the end of the level 32. Alright, so I gotta stop that timer as soon as soon as the stats show up on the ship is whenever my time's gonna end. I'm at 50 right now. We're probably not gonna beat the uh we're definitely not gonna make the world record, I don't think. At least for a speed run. I don't even know if I'm eligible because I actually had to continue, but I'm keeping the continue in. Because editing videos is not good for people. It makes you look bad. It makes you look like a liar, which is true. You don't want to do that. We're at the ass into this game right now. But yeah, like I'm not I'm not an experienced speedrunner at all. So I don't know half of the rules for this. I wonder if like a continue cancels your run or if your run is just from point A to point B. Or maybe there's like a no death run, I don't know. There's only two runs that I ever saw for uh, 1942. So, But there are definitely people better than me. But I'd love to be them one of those days, you know. Something that you can always hope and dream to be. And practice makes perfect. If I do beat this, this will mark the third time that I've beaten this game. Uh, the first time I beat it was actually the first stream I did on Twitch. It just I didn't have any of the hardware I wanted. It was really crude. It was just some dude playing with absolutely no audio and no nothing. It was just a nightmare. But I would go on to use that video footage for my first YouTube video. And if you are curious, my YouTube is in the description below for this for my channel. Uh, I do video game reviews, retro video game reviews. And it's a blast. I love doing it. The next one's actually going to be Street Fighter 2. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, uh, you don't really have to follow, but I do post updates on like public polls and whatnot about what games I should play next and 
give the community a heads up. I love interacting with people. That's why I'm so glad you're here. It's fun. This gun, bleh, this game gets a lot more fun whenever you have someone to talk to. Trust me. It's from 1984, I see now. Maybe I was off one year. 1984 was the arcade release. And, yeah, you should totally, totally, totally play the arcade version. This, the NES version does not do it justice. So, 1984, 1985, so that NES must have come out in 1986 for the game. Uh, I think it was a, well, no, maybe not. This definitely was one of the first console games that uh, Capcom put out. The other ones being Commando, Trojan, uh... Mega Man 1, stuff like that. Ghosts and Goblins. I should speedrun Ghosts and Goblins. Set my own personal record. I mean, it's not too bad of a game. It's just it, it's not a good port, which sucks. But the series would go on to redeem itself. 1983 is phenomenal. As a matter of fact, I might stream it after I play this just to see how I can if I can set a world record. Or not, not a world record. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. If I can set a uh, personal best for it as well. I've never beaten it. It's a lot harder than a, a lot harder than this one. And then I think that. That's disappearing art. <sighs> my hand's cramping. Oh my god, Charlie Horse in my hand. Can't pause though. Mm. Oh man, 10 levels left and we're, we're at 55 minutes. We haven't even peaked an hour yet. I'm so stoked. I don't remember what my personal best was. Cool, we got our wingman. So if we keep these guys, we will be more than fine. If I just gotta keep, just keep cool, man. Just gotta keep cool. We'll beat the game. Oh, to answer your to to say to your comment, um, emulators. It's they're really hit or miss when it comes to sound because we'll, we'll use the Sega Genesis as an example. Model One had really trash music compared to uh, Model Two, at least with capabilities. So emulators, for the most part, don't have the ability to completely recreate the sound, the crisp, crisp audio that you would have on the original console. Super Nintendo, in particular, is like that. Get out of here! You're not even supposed to be here. Where the fuck did that guy come from? The boss plane was there. Why? Oh, NES. You're so silly sometimes. Are you going to send more dudes out? I'm going to stay right here in the middle, just in case. Because that was trash. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I asked for that one. Alright, this is our last life. Last life. If we die, we're going to continue because, like I said, I don't know the stipulations 
for a run if a run is terminated based on if you know you have to continue or if it's just a single single credit run so I'm gonna press I'm just gonna keep pressing see if we can see if we can uh, beat our personal best that's all I care about right now this guy actually doesn't kill me often he's a really super easy boss just need to see flames give me flames good job all right we're gonna go buy him and unfortunately I'm limited to uh, I'm limited to um, getting on that ship because screen scroll and stuff and even now Super Mario Brothers is the most popular retro game yeah it is it sure as hell is I think it's funny well I it's not really funny it's a shame that Nintendo didn't press with uh, making more of the Nintendo classics because they they could have made a lot of money they could have really sold it and now yeah people buying them from eBay and scalping them and selling them back for a ridiculously expensive amount of money for no reason and it's really annoying we're at 5849 right now. We're in the home stretch. We're about to be flying over Okinawa. And the Okinawan levels are probably the only levels that actually don't mess with my eyes when it comes to uh, the artwork and being able to see bullets and whatnot. Which is just it kills everything. It's a shame I'm not using the retro achievement uh, emulator because I'd have a lot of achievements right now for 500,000 points. But, oh well. shooting I gotta get I gotta get another life or else we're gonna be out I wonder if I got an extra life from beating the boss I don't have the game sound allowed so I can't I can't tell it I can't hear the audit audible sounds of uh, an extra life Alrighty, we're getting there. We are getting there. Can you imagine that a Commodore 64 new began 80s was about 900,000 bucks, and that was a lot of money at the time. Adjust for inflation now, and you're looking about like 2,000. You know what else was really expensive? The Neo Geo, and I still haven't brought myself to to paying that much money to get one. Um, and even the carts themselves for Neo Geo are expensive as hell. Like 400 bucks is something I've seen for like the original Art of Fighting, a lot of the SNK games, which is bullshit, but I mean, you wanted arcade quality at home, you had to fork it out. Now, I do have 1942 on the Commodore 64 on the emulator, and believe it or not, it loads up the exact same amount of time because it's on the tape format that it would be if it was, you know, a real actual cassette tape. So I was trying to figure out how to make my Commodore 64 emulator work and um shit I hope that's not it oh we got two lives so yeah obviously whenever I started it up it sounded like death incarnate it sounded like you know one of the old fax machines from the 90s on dial up internet and transformers having sex but um after that I got the screen and I couldn't figure out what was going on I had the input set up right you know it, I understood that the it had to be plugged into Portal 2, so if you had the virtual drive, you had to set it up for uh, for Joystick 2, and I had everything signed up right. And I was getting really pissed off because I was like, all right, I'm at the title screen. Like, shouldn't I be pressing some button to continue? So what I did 
is I accidentally hit Control W while I was writing a paper, waiting for this thing to unfuck itself, which you know wasn't really happening. And uh, that activated warp mode, and it warped to about 20 minutes in the future, and the game finally started. And I looked at my wife, and I was like, "It takes, you know, it takes me 40 minutes to get this game started. Just for it to boot, it took 20 minutes." And uh, I went to the the emulator's support site, and it says that they actually take the actual time that it would have taken for Commodore 64 games back whenever the Amiga and all those were prominent and all the tape drives associated with it. So mad props to them for, you know, truly emulating the experience, but I don't know, like that's kind of, <laughs> it's a little bit too much for me. Um, disc drives with the big five 25 inch discs are very noisy. Yeah, man, that's back when floppy discs were actually floppy. I had one. My dad had one. I think it was Superman or something on the Commodore. And uh, that was like the first Frisbee I ever had as a kid. And then it turned into a dog toy because my dog Whisper got a hold of it. My dad used to tell me about like how he learned to program using BASIC. And BASIC was the basic framework for, you know, shit. All the Atari 2600 games and, uh, you know, everything back in the day. For those of us who, those of y'all who are just joining, we are actually at the very end of this game. Right now we're hour four and some change. Um... We're going to beat this game. The end of it's actually easier than the middle of it. Right around level countdown level 16 is probably some of the worst worst action that we'll see. Here it's just, you know, these guys are shooting two bullets now, so that's two more things I have to I have to dodge. But other than that, it's not too bad. Ooh, a red pal. We don't see those often. Yay for the extra loop-de-loop. -loop. I don't know if you've noticed I think maybe I did on accident once, but um, I haven't used the the loop because it's absolutely damn useless. Because by the time you finish your loop, you are gonna run into something, especially in the later levels. I couldn't fathom spending that much money for something. I think my grandfather said that his original IBM computer that he got costed him upwards to like four thousand dollars, and it and that was the norm, you know, because technology wasn't readily available. I don't even remember how much my uh, my Nintendo 64. My dad told me one time how much it costed market, but I don't I don't remember. It would have been ridiculously expensive for the time. I know that much. Since we're on a uh, a nostalgia kick. Whenever I used to be stationed, I'm in the Air Force. I used to be stationed at um, in Alaska, Eielson Air Force Base, which is about 30 minutes south of shit, south of Fairbanks. And there's still a blockbuster there. Still a blockbuster, and it is thriving. And I think it might actually be the blockbuster that's mentioned on the last blockbuster ever Twitter page. So yeah, I found that funny. We might need one more continue, but I'm going to try to make it without continuing and try to beat this game. At this point, we, we're not we're not on a track to beat the world record right now. But, like I said, I, I always strive to do better for myself. Set my own personal best, whatnot. So, that's what we're attempting to do today. I don't remember how much my other one took. Is this the uh, factory song from Sonic? That was so dope. I think it is. Sonic the Hedgehog, man. That's why I should play next. Berserk! Oh, man. Yeah, Berserk was horrible. <laughs> the, the worst thing that can happen to your body is probably playing the Virtual Boy, though. It took one from me. This is this is why I hate this game. It, it follow. It makes its own rules, and then it breaks them. <sighs> the 
sounds a lot like the last level. The last level on Sonic. So much shit going on. You gonna screw me? You gonna screw me right in my little butt? Yeah, this is totally that one. So, if you're unfamiliar with this song that's playing right now, it is the last level of, um... Last level of Sonic. Well, not, not Final Zone, but, um, shit. Factory Zone, I think is what it's called. It's beautiful. This version is actually awesome. I'm not ignoring you, son. I promise. It's just because I'm using another monitor. I can't. I can't read chat without looking over. So chat's on the right. I should have something where it, like talks chat out. Has that been invented yet? That'd be cool. Maybe I can make some money on that. That idea, proprietary idea. All right, in the Summer Winter Olympics on the Commodore 64, what cost two joysticks every week? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you know, there was another one. I think it's Olympics, some Olympic game on a Nintendo World Champion, not Nintendo World Championships, but it's a. It has a pad that you could like walk on. My dad had it. It it's like an early DDR pad for the Dance Dance Revolutions games, but it had like 16, or probably not 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 blue and 6 red, and you were supposed to like run on it. I think it's World Class Track Meet was the name of the game. And uh, yeah, Anger Video Game Nerd actually covered that too, how loud it was trying to run on it. We're actually doing a really good run. I, I, last time I played this, I continued a lot more than I did this time. So many old games to play and so little time in life. And they're so expensive. Like getting some of the really good old ones, you can pay a lot of money for them, which sucks. But is what it is, right? That's why I wish I kept my uh, my boxes. I had a uh, a lot of good stuff. Actually, a uh, fun fact: I have collector's edition, almost brand new mint, uh, complete in box, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time that should be coming in very very shortly. I think tomorrow. Possibly, it's a local seller, so shouldn't have to wait too long. What I notice is when you play games on different websites with emulators on full screen, they run much slower. Yes, that is very true. This, like I said, I'm using the um, the Hyperkin Retron Five, and I, I stand by it for the most part. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of pissed because I bought Final Fantasy Two, and I really want to play it on a uh, really want to play it on the screen but it will not read it to save its life so I gotta do some ops checks and make sure that the cart's not damaged and that is just the uh, Retron 5 being a dick damn it alright so we're in Okinawa now that's good Allow an hour 11 into the game and we are we are in Okinawa now which is cool I can't wait to submit this run. I'm so excited. All right, fuck everything that I said about not being able to, uh, or saying that this contrasts well. This is absolute garbage. I think that's it. Yep. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So I think this is like the third continue for us. 
too. And of course, I just clicked off. So the ro world record right now is one hour, 11 minutes, 45 seconds. So I was very close. Like I could have easily done it if I hadn't have died so much. Second place is one hour 18. So I think I'm gonna set the, the third place for 1942 on the NES, which is really cool. I, I so dig it. God, I'm so happy. But we gotta beat the game first before we can actually start talking about times. Because as, as it looks right now, we're not gonna do too well on this level. So much shit going on screen. I will never forgive the nest for its incapability to like produce a lot of sprites without just going absolute dog shit. Like I got Valks in a corner there because of it. I remember there was a game begin eighties raid over Moscow to move the games from the shops because of the Cold War. That's very interesting. What uh what console was it on? Or what was it on? You can probably Google it, it's just obviously busy. Man, everything's shooting at me now. I don't remember it being this tough. Shit. Arc arcade or Atari? Well, four continues. Damn, man. We're gonna beat this game. It's just a matter of how many times are we gonna continue? Cause that that's pretty much the death of a speedrun is is dying in this game because I think without dying like a perfect perfect run through of this game, you're still gonna like come up on an hour ten, maybe hour five maybe. At least it's good to know that uh the guy who has the world record, or at least on speedruns is uh would have had to have died a few times to have an hour ten but or maybe he didn't who knows but we're on top of water and water is my strong point so yep game is also on wiki what you mean Like Wikipedia? Because if so, that's everything's on Wikipedia. That makes it legit if it's on Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like most of my res my research for my YouTube videos comes straight from Wikipedia. They're good shit. Outside of that, the only resource I have is you know physically playing the game myself, which I love. Don't mind at all, clearly. Drum and bass. Not exactly what I expected. I don't know how I dodged that, but okay. I wonder what the world record is for 1942. Ah. Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum. I think the ZX Spectrum is the same thing as the Commodore 64. It's just the British version of it. I never. I have a ZX Spectrum emulator, but I can't get it to work on anything. Like it, it just refuses to load any ROM. So it's probably got like some BIOS file or, or something that I'm not doing right. Because I got a gaming computer, so I'm not worried about it. You know, something being wrong or. 
not having a capability to emulate. I'm not worried about that. I, I run VR on this thing all the time. But I'm not really knowledgeable on emulator or homebrew or anything like that. I just I play games, you know. It's the original medium has always been my pre my preference. You'll see a lot of people play, you know, emulators, especially for their speedrun stuff, and and I'm not gonna knock it at all. It just I really would prefer to have the actual console and have the actual game in front of me. Uh, some of my favorite speedrunners on here, like Argus and McCaw, they use emulators if they need to. Uh, Shoto Bro is another one of my favorite, and I just recently started watching him, but he's a fucking phenomenal speedrunner. He's he's a great gamer, and he really likes shoot 'em ups, so that's something he focuses on. Two more stages left, guys. Unfortunately, we're not going to make, like I said, we're not going to make uh, make the first record, but, I mean, uh, the fun. One more life left. Two more lives left. We're on top of water. I should be doing better. not good that landed right on top of homes Jesus Christ I think many people sell their old gaming computers because you can play all the games online and the modern TVs can be a problem also so the only time I've actually ran into a problem with a contemporary TV uh, affecting the game that you know I'm playing would have to be on um, games that require light gun support. So Duck Hunt or Lethal Enforcers on the Sega CD. You cannot use a light gun on a flat. Shit, you cannot use a light gun on flat screen TVs. Unfortunately, we're not going to approach two hours. I'd like to beat it before an hour thirty, though. kind of been a, in a funk now a death funk I felt my back get all chilly because of it oh well see what I need to do is I, I need topics to talk about I do better whenever I'm just rambling about stuff whenever I actually like have quiet I, I guess I have more time to focus and uh, this should be the last boss of the game I can't pause it shit Too easy. Too easy. Too it shit. Come on. We got this. I don't think that's fair they send that much shit to you prior to you, you know, playing the uh Final boss. Come on. Just mind my own business over here and we'll be fine. Just mind our own business over here, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's too easy. Beat him. I think I might have one. Do I have one more level? I don't know. Is this the... Because I think there's one more level. Yeah. This is the last stage. <laughs> last stage! One hour, 22 minutes.
Somebody real quick, Google if this is the last stage, because I need to know if level 00 is the last stage or if level 01 is the last stage. And I'd rather have a good time. I, I mean, it's not going to matter. It's going to be a matter of a fraction of seconds, and I'm sure whoever reviews the video at speedrun will, uh, will do an exact whatever, but... But if anybody knows, if, you know, this is the last, I don't care if you pull up a YouTube video and just like go to the end of it, but I need to know if this is because I need to stop the timer at the right time. If so, emulators are, these days are much better. Yeah. Yes, they are. Used to be just homebrew as hell. <laughs> lucky if you could make it one screen in like Mario before it crashed because it was an unstable ROM or the ROM file was always fine but the uh, the framework for the actual emulator was, was the issue please tell me somebody found that Too easy. Nobody's even shooting at me. Come on, come on. Alright, it's now or never. Alright, so I landed at like 122. I'm gonna have to double check. Whoo! 12440. Damn! We just beat 1942 again. Phenomenal job. Let's see what my past uh, best record was. 149. So I, I I took 20 minutes off of my uh, my record right there. Badass. Phenomenal. 149.24. Hell yeah, guys. What should we play next? We got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna stop the recording now. So yeah, hell yeah. 124. Only a few minutes shy of second place. I think it was 18 or 14. Let's see, we're gonna stop recording.